Ann Cotton DeGrasse. Although born in Texas, Ann has lived in the Riverhead School District for 45 years. She was a business education teacher in Riverhead High School for 32 years before retiring in 1997. Ann is completing the last year of her first term on the Board of Education. She is currently the Board President. Three years ago, Ann ran on the platform of bringing civility and respect back to the Board of Education and feels she has been successful in that regard. Even though these are trying fiscal times, Ann feels the Board has submitted a fair and equitable budget while addressing the concerns of the community regarding expenditures. Ann has been recognized for her work on the school board by the New York State School Boards Association, the Kiwanis Club of Greater Riverhead, and SCOPE. She also volunteers and works as the president of the North Fork Breast Health Coalition, an organization that raises funds for financial and support services for patients on the North Fork who are being treated for breast cancer. She lives in Jamesport with her husband Antonio and their three dogs. As we all know, the infrastructure of our schools is in need of repair. Having served on the Community Revitalization Committee, the bond, for the past year, Anne feels an obligation to run for another term in office in order to follow this project through to its conclusion. Anne would appreciate your support on Tuesday, May 17th at the Riverhead High School Gymnasium from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And thank you. I am Trisha Sapienza Brown, a former Riverhead student. I grew up in Riverhead and I am one of 10 children, all who have gone through the Riverhead schools. My father spent his entire career and dedicated his time and love as children as the principal of the East Quad Elementary School. He taught all of us the value of education and the importance of it. I am a graduate of Riverhead High School, class of 1977, and I have organized multiple class reunions, including, including our third year, that we made as a multi-class reunion for all classes from 1946 to 1988. We made this a fundraiser that raised over $20,000 and we donated it to the Conic Bay Medical Center emergency room. I have a lot of fond memories of my Riverhead High School and I am a mother of two former Riverhead students and a grandmother of a future Riverhead student. I have been employed at the Conic Bay Medical Center for the past 27 years which enabled me to hold various managerial positions and I presently manage the transport department. I am the president of the Employee Activity Committee and I am involved in many fundraising events. If you ask me why I do all these things, it's because I am a very compassionate person and I enjoy working and helping others overcome their obstacles. I am running for the Board of Education as I am a concerned parent and taxpayer. I will listen to any and all concerns and do my best to address them. I have walked through some of the schools and they are in need of some updating. Some things haven't changed since I was in there 35 years ago. And that the financial condition of New York State and its economy has forced drastic cuts to the um, education. It comes at a disturbing time because of the lack of activities and facilities for our young people in our town. Stripping away any co-curricular activities will have an adverse effect on our children. Some of the kids haven't seen the outskirts of Riverhead, and some may never. And this is why it is important that we do our best to educate them so they know there is a big world out there. Also, during my life as a parent and caregiver for a special needs sibling, I have encountered many obstacles that other parents and siblings may not have had to overcome. I feel I can lend a helping hand on the support of education in order to make our community aware of problems, alternatives, and the educational system which would allow each student to meet his or her educational goals. I am asking you to please support me on Tuesday, May 17th, but most importantly, I'm asking everyone to come out and vote. Thank you. Uh, I do believe as a school board and along with our administration, we, we have worked very hard to present a fiscally responsible budget to the taxpayers of this district. Um, with that being said, I. Um, within the last two years, I believe being part of the audit committee um, has um, the things I've learned uh, in just being a part of that um, has helped me understand things a lot better to be able to present a budget like this. I know a few years ago when I sat out in the audience like you guys now and looking at the, all the numbers, I didn't quite understand what it really was, um, but now I do and I can honestly say that I, I've worked hard at that position. Um, the other part of why I'm seeking re-election is the infrastructure of the schools. 
We have started something here, and I do believe that um, what I can bring to the table um, through some of my past uh, experiences, I'd like to remain on the board to continue through with that to improve our schools for safety and health and etc. Um, I do live, uh, I was born and raised uh, in the district. Um, my wife is a city slicker implant from about fifth to sixth grade. Um, we have three children, two went through the school district already. One is pre presently a uh, junior in the high school and also she's uh, in the nursing program at Eastern Suffolk Boses. Um, I'm a firefighter at Brookhaven Lab, uh, and that affords me uh, a lot of time to donate and volunteer to the community. I've been doing it, as all of you have been, um, I'm sure. You know, having kids, you come up, it starts with, you know, Cub Scouts and Girl Scouts and Brownies, and then it's Boy Scouts, and then sports start kicking in, and, you know, PAL, Little League, softball, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I, I've, I've worked my way up through that. Once my kids started getting too old, I realized that uh, I still had the time to, to volunteer. And what I did is I went out and I got my coaching license um, and I volunteered for the district. Uh, first originally doing um, uh, track, baseball, and then football. Um, since then, it's been about five years now, I've, uh, I've kind of dwindled down to football um, just because uh, I, I volunteered with this since then. So. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I love this community immensely. I, I do come in here with, with, with an open mind and I, I work as hard as I can for everybody. Um, but just to go back to my original opening statement, what's most important is the support from the community. Please come out and vote on May 17th because it's the only way that we know the hard work that we've put in that everybody else is in support of us, in support of this community, the kids, our neighbors, our family, and everybody else. Thank you very much. My name is Kimberly Brown Ligon, and I'm running as a candidate for the Riverhead School Board to represent all the families in this community. I love the town of Riverhead, and my family and I have lived here all our lives. I graduated from Riverhead High School, and my husband and I are now proud parents of two students in the Riverhead Elementary School. Having graduated from college with a degree in recreation and having obtained a certificate of nurse's aid, I brought my skills in education back to my hometown. For the past 21 years, I've worked at the Conway Medical Center as a, as a recreational therapist. Each day, I work daily with the elderly and fragile adults who need beneficial and stimulating activities, which I provide for my position as a recreational therapist. Daily, I hear the concerns of the people living in this community that are finding it increasingly difficult to live here. I am running for the school board because I am a concerned parent, a taxpayer, a long-term resident, a homeowner, an organized leader with a vested interest in our children and the future of the taxpayers. I'm beholden to no one that's making me able to advocate objectively on issues brought before the board. If you will vote for me on May 17, you can be assured that I will represent the concerns of the community. Voting is a right, an important right and everyone should use it wisely. So remember to get out and vote on May 17. Thank you.